for slow computer. Good morning, people. It is morning. It's like 2.52 my time. It's early morning. You have eight hours and zero minutes of remaining drive time. Yada, yada, yada. What the heck? Uh, what do they do? Update their system where I can't put nothing on? Oh. I know what I did. It's a daisy. Was I gonna do it this way? I was just gonna start and go because we gotta get fuel in Rogers, Wisconsin. And for some reason, I'm empty. Don't know why. Usually, I can make it all the way to Mile City into Wisconsin, like Black River Falls. But I'm empty, and I don't know why. So I'm gonna. Uh, look here. Cause we had a lot of headwinds yesterday. We hit 5.7 miles per gallon. Now when I rode this truck up at Christmas time for derated turbo, yeah, I'm still having that issue and that wasn't fixed. And poor fuel economy, it didn't get fixed. Not even my roof leak got fixed. I'll talk with Mike when we get back and uh, Tell them to look at my write up and I'm gonna say none of it got fixed. So 5.7. I figured a mileage here. I went yesterday, 6.52. Divided by 6.52 is because when I filled up, that one right, 6.52. Divided by 5.7. I should still have about 80 gallons left. A little over 80, about 86 gallons left. So, that's my tanks ain't transferring fuel again. That's happened a couple times too, I've noticed. I'll go fill, one, fill the tanks up and one side gets done quicker than the other. When we've had problems with other trucks not transferring their fuels either. Hope that's not the you case. You have seven hours and fifty-nine minutes of remaining drive time. Because I need both tanks to work to go over the top, or I'm in trouble. I can only go about four or five hundred miles on one tank, and today alone is gonna just to get to Traverse City is six seventy-nine, which we ain't gonna quite get there today because of speed limit, road conditions, and all that. But I got a plan stop. So hopefully that works. We get there early enough we get a parking spot and then we'll cross over the Mackinac Mackinac Bridge tomorrow morning and get this load delivered hopefully on time. Hopefully. So let's get this day started and rolling and uh glad you enjoyed yesterday. We're breaking records with views. <coughs> so 1k and all that. Too bad we didn't have that many subscribers. You know, I got a couple videos there. 70,000 views, one, and didn't get 70,000 subscribers. But it is what it is. Let's get going. Oh, I want to congratulate Will and Matt on their new trucks. But why the heck did you get automatics with no APUs? My only question. Why would. I got a 13 speed in here. Come on. I'm gonna buy a truck, it's gonna have a 13 and an APU in it, I'm just not gonna buy it. Gotta have my 13. Gotta have it. Gotta have it. No no automatics for me. Sorry. Oh, I, I wanna be able to be in control of the truck. Standard gives me that option with the clutch. Especially in the wintertime. Then I don't wanna end up in the ditch. But anyway, let's just get rolling. <laughs> Five minutes almost. Oh boy. Let's go. We're gonna be a long video today. Ah, we're rolling out of here. We're gone, son. We're gone, son. You can give your turkey. I miss old Jerry Reed, man. I'm long gone now. So hopefully we make Rogers without running out of fuel. Oh, what's up, my dead truck didn't get checked or what? My fuel economy dropped a lot. Yesterday was cold, 
We had a lot of headwind yesterday. Well, that's kind of expected. Expected. <coughs> well, let's, let's go make a name for ourselves today. You think we can do that? on the dash cam or not because I seem to hit the wrong button again. Engine light came on, low fuel pressure, but we're on empty and that might have something to do with it. And we sure ain't getting nowhere fast, but yeah, I should have had the camera on. Transac tried pushing me into the ditch, I should have just let him hit me. Just him out another and then some like a sailor. after we started. Anyways, we'll see you up here at the scale and we gotta get fuel and Rogers. Hopefully we make it there, but our truck's acting funny today. I don't know how far we're gonna make it because we ain't made any mileage yet. Wasted almost two hours just to go 75 miles. Alright, we'll see you soon. Ah, we're at the pilot or the flying J and uh Rogers, Wisconsin. We gotta make sure we top everything off. Hopefully his engine light will go away after I let the truck sit up. Not idle for a bit. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Broken handle on that side. Continue on Wisconsin 29 East for 103 miles. Yes, Brandy. We know Brandy. Yeah, somebody took a ride in the ditch. <coughs> took a ride in the ditch. Must have been no fun. Dang trooper. No biggie. We're like somebody landed on the roof, but there's no way for me to stop. Wrong lane.
take our half hour break, get the windshield cleared off, see if I can find something to ice the windshield with, use the bathroom, whatever else comes along. Just slide to a stop while we're at it.
had to turn the camera on while I was coming in. I had a truck behind me and I didn't even think about you guys. But I was trying to get on the CB and warn them that I was going to turn on bad roads. I didn't quite make it where I wanted to. Not 110 miles from the truck stop I wanted to be. But I still got an hour to spare. Plus, I called, called and said the roads are bad. I would have made it on time, but the roads are bad, and I might be up to an hour late. I compensated. Uh, I'm exhausted. 430 miles beat the hell out of me today. Nothing but snow, and I love snow and all, but when it ain't so much the roads being bad, it's people around you going too slow, and then when you come up to a hill, you're worrying if you're going to spin out because they're going too slow and you need to pick up speed. If you've never driven a truck before when the roads are this bad, it's an artwork with the pedal to make sure you don't spin out. So, like I said, if you've never driven a truck before, on these type of roads, you wouldn't know what. Well, it's like drag racers when you watch uh, Street Outlaws. You're feeding the pedal. You're, uh, you know, you're feathering it. You're trying to keep the wheels from breaking, but you're trying to keep the momentum going, and that's how today was. So we might be late, but I hopefully it's supposed to stop snowing. It's actually raining right now. So hopefully when I get going tonight, the roads will get better, I can get back up to normal speed. It's been pretty much anywhere from 66 all the way down to 35 miles an hour up to mostly an average speed of 48 miles an hour is what I came out to be. I just killed my day. But I pick up 12 hours tomorrow, so we should be alright there. And uh, I still got 3 or 4 hours of my 70 left for today. So I'll be able to leave at 11 tonight. So I'm going to get your vlog done. That way you'll have it up. And tomorrow we'll be going over the Mackinac Bridge. And into Traverse City to deliver this load. Get it off. We'll probably have to do an 8 or 10 hour break there. Just to get out. Even if we got a load there. Which I haven't got a load there yet. I might not. She already told me I might not get on, or load it out of there until Thursday. Which is fine where I unload. I'll see if I can drop my trailer and then... Uh, Bobtail up to the truck stop. And we'll repick my trailer up later. But I'm gonna go in here and see if they got anything to eat and uh, have my drink. Drink. And, uh, yeah. Anyway, you all be safe. Give it a trucker space. God bless you. Good night, my family. We'll see you tomorrow. Right? Oh, hey, we're like two away from 900 subscribers. We're going to reach that thousand soon. Actually, I wrote it. Keep sharing us, man. We'll get out there.